so I'm going to show you the e-fencing feature here in these new Cat Next Gen excavators. And we'll actually take you off the window here. So this is the button for it. So you can basically set it so the machine will not go above or below or left or right of a certain point that you set which I think is actually a pretty neat feature. And I really like this one. So this, it's called E-Fence Ceiling. So that knows where the top of the boom is up here. So say you're working under a bridge or some wires and you wanted to put it right there. You say, I don't want to go past that point. You turn that on, it tells you it's 21.42 feet in the air and you can go back to home. Now, if I go down and I lift up, I mean, it will not go any higher. It just stops the machine. You can rotate, you can do anything. It will not go above that point. Um, I will demonstrate this probably in a little bit better way on the e-fence floor. So we'll just say there. So there we go. So again, it will not let me go down. So this better work or it's gonna slam through the uh, road here, but. See, it slows it down to a nice easy stop. So if you know there's something there and you don't wanna over dig to it, it will not let you over dig. So you can, um, Set this to work with your grade control as well. So if you're grading, you won't uh, overcut anything. So we'll shut that off. Uh, you can turn on cab avoidance. So, you know, sometimes if you have a quick coupler and certain attachments, you can hit the cab. You can turn that on or off. Swing right or left. So here, it will let you swing to the right and then swing to the left and it'll actually stop the machine, right? So we'll, let's see here, ready? I'm going, and it just stops the machine. So say you're working on the side of a road, you don't want to swing anything. Um, if you figure it out enough, you could set it so your counterweight won't hit anything. Um, and that's pretty much it with that. Pretty basic, pretty easy, but pretty neat feature.